Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sinead here, and in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I'm coming at you guys with another modded outfit. So we're gonna jump into the video, so the only requirements to do this glitch, your male character has to be on slot number 1, which is your main character, and your female character has to be on slot number 2, which is your second character, okay? It must be that way or else this glitch is not gonna work. And also, for the people who are watching this video after the Christmas update, yes, this glitch still works and it's always gonna work. Unless, you know, Rockstar patches the transfer glitches, which I doubt they are. But yeah, guys, so just know it's still going to work. And for the people who do this glitch and it works for you guys, I'll appreciate it if you guys comment down in the comment section down below saying it worked for you guys. That way, other people who are trying to do this glitch will know that this is 100% legit. And uh, yeah, guys, so we're going to jump into the video. So you guys are new to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And also, if you guys do enjoy this outfit, smash that like button. Let's try to go for 35 likes. And if you guys don't already follow my instagram it's going to be up on your screen right now i highly appreciate it if you guys give me a follow and uh, yeah guys so with that being said hope you guys enjoy and i'm out all right so look so the first thing you guys want to do you just want to make your way over to any clothing store and now from there equip the outfit that you guys want to keep since this is a transfer glitch it's going to delete every other outfit on your saves list so once again equip the outfit that you guys want to keep once you guys have equipped it go ahead and delete every other outfit on your saves list and now once you guys once you guys have done that go ahead and press options and scroll down to swap character and now from here you guys are gonna have to wait until you guys load into swap character so i'll see you guys there all right so once you guys are here like i said in the beginning of the video your male character has to be on slot number one and your female character has to be on slot number two so now from here you guys want to go ahead and create a female character if you guys already have a female character created simply delete that female character and create a new one so that's what i'm about to do right now so i'll see you guys when i'm done Alright, so once you guys spawn in, the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do, press options, and now from there, check your map, and check if you guys have a clothing store icon. If you guys do not have a clothing store icon, simply find a new session, and it should reappear. But since I did spawn far away from the city, I'm going to simply just find a new session, just because. Alright, so once you guys admit it to the clothing store, now from here, all you guys have to do is purchase the same components as I purchased. So starting off, make your way over to the top section, now from there, you guys want to scroll down to leather jackets. And now from there, scroll all the way down and scroll back up until you see the blue cropped biker. It should be number 56. Go ahead and purchase this one. Now from there, press circle and scroll down until you see tuck t-shirts. So keep on scrolling and it should be right here. Now from there, scroll all the way down and scroll back up until you see number 71. It should be this one right here, the peach digital t-shirt. Go ahead and purchase this. Once you guys have done that, you guys want to make your way over to the pants section. Now from there, scroll all the way down and scroll back up and go to uh, into utility pants and purchase the black bat uh, battle pants. Once you guys do that, you guys want to make your way over to the accessories. So go ahead and go to the accessories. And now from here, make sure you guys take off earrings, watches, bracelets, anything like that, alright? Once you guys do have done that, make your way over to the glove section. You guys want to purchase these right here, the, the ones I'm about to show you guys, the light wooden armors. Go ahead and purchase those, number 32. Now from there, if you guys want the handcuffs on this outfit, all you guys have to do is go to chains and purchase the gold dex necklace chain. I'm about to show you guys right now. So go to number 56. Again, this is optional. If you guys want the handcuffs with this outfit, you guys can go, uh, go ahead and purchase this chain. And now from there, we're done with the first outfit. So go ahead and save this outfit on slot number two. So go ahead and double save it just to make sure it saves. And now from there, we're going to be working on, on the second outfit to complete this outfit, all right? So for the second outfit, make your way over to the pants section. Once you guys are here, you just want to scroll down to the sports, uh, sport pants and you just want to purchase the spotted muscle pants. Once you guys have done that, make your way over to the shoe section and go into boots and you just want to keep on scrolling down until you see the worn ox slack boots. So keep on scrolling down. It should be these right here. The worn ox blood slack boots. Go ahead and purchase this, number 30. And now from there, you just want to keep the same components. So the gloves, keep them the same. And if you guys are, uh, are getting the handcuffs, go ahead and keep the chain on, alright? And now from there, save this outfit under the first outfit, and we're officially done. So once again, go ahead and double save it. And once you guys have done that, you guys should have two outfits in total. So now from there, equip the first outfit, open up your interaction menu, and take the easy way out. What this does right here, this forces the game to save, alright? So I recommend doing this, it's just gonna guarantee the glitch even more. So now from here, wait till you guys spawn outside. And once you guys spawn outside, open up your interaction menu and equip the first outfit and wait for the game to save. So there you go, it disappeared, now it's officially saved. So now from there, press options, go to online and scroll down to creator. 
and now from here you just wait for the menu to pop up so i'll see you guys when it does that so once you guys are right here you guys want to scroll down to create a race and now from there click x on tutorial and accept this alert once you guys accept it you guys will notice you guys are just hovering over the sky so now from there press options go to online and scroll down to choose character so go ahead and wait for it to load up so once you guys are back on this screen right here, all you guys have to do is hover over to the right and click square and delete your female character. Make sure you guys are hovering over the female before you guys click delete, alright? So now from here, just type in delete and you guys just, uh, should get this alert right here. So just wait for it to disappear. Once it disappears, a new character will be walking out. So that's what you guys need, alright? So just wait for it. It may take a while, but most of the time it's really quick. So look, now a new character is about to walk out. So now once you guys are back on the screen again, all you guys have to do is simply press circle to return back to story mode. So I'll see you guys when I'm back. All right, so once you guys are back in story mode, all you guys have to do is press options. Now from there, scroll over to online and start up an invite only session. So I'll see you guys when I load into that session. So once you guys load in, the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do, you guys want to make your way over to any clothing store and save your outfit, alright? Make sure that's the first thing you guys do or else you guys will lose this outfit. So I'm about to make my way inside this clothing store and go to the front counter. And now when you guys press square, you guys should see that the two outfits, they transfer over. So that's good, alright? So now from there, you guys want to save your OG outfit on slide number 20. So go ahead and double save it just to make sure it saves. There you go, I saved it. So now from there, back out, go to outfits, and you just want to scroll all the way down until you see deadline bodysuits, alright? So keep on scrolling down, it should be around here. Again, they're called deadline, so it should be these right here. And now from there, you just want to go ahead and purchase a pink one, alright? So go ahead and purchase this. Once you guys have done that, open up your interaction menu, and go ahead and remove the head component. There you go, and also, if you guys want to... Go ahead and change the pair of gloves you guys are more welcome to i'm gonna I'm go ahead and use the black leather gloves so i'm gonna go ahead and use these right here once you guys had equipped it you guys want to go ahead and press options go to online go to jobs play job bookmark and you guys want to go ahead and start that mission that's in the description down below so go ahead and launch it if you guys don't have it ask a friend or just go to the description down below and bookmark it on the rockstar app all right rockstar website i mean so now from there you guys want to go to clothing and set to player saved outfits now from here, wait for somebody random to join you or go ahead and invite a friend. So as soon as that person joins, all you guys have to do is now from there, ready up. And now from here, just scroll two times to the right and you actually see that the outfit is right there. So once you guys see the outfit, simply tell your friend to ready up. And now once you guys officially have loaded in, all you guys have to do from here is locate your apartment. So it's important that you guys know where your apartment is at, alright? So now from here, like I said, all you guys have to do is make your way over to your apartment. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. So now once you guys have made it to your apartment, all you guys have to do is simply go inside. And now from here, make your way over to your closet to save this outfit. So go ahead and go to outfits and press square. And now from there, you guys want to go ahead and delete those other two slots where we had saved this outfit at first. And now from here, just overwrite it on slot number two. So go ahead and double save it. And there, now you guys officially own the outfit. So now from here, all you guys have to do is simply back out through your phone or simply finish the mission. I'm going to just back out through my phone, so I'll see you guys when I'm back. So as soon as you guys spawn in, you guys will notice you guys don't have the modded outfit on. So now from here, all you guys have to do, open up your interaction menu and equip the outfit and it should be there. Once you guys have it on, now it's time to add the head components. So the head components that I use for this outfit, I threw in a pink t-shirt mask. If you guys don't have a uh, pink t-shirt mask, just go over to the mask, mask store and go to crime and it should be there. So I use this one right here, the pink camo. So now from here, it's time to uh, do the telescope glitch. If you guys don't know how to do the telescope glitch, all you guys have to do is simply run towards the telescope and click right on the d-pad. And just make the game glitch you out. Once it glitches you out like this, go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to accessories. And we're going to be throwing on, on a pair of goggles and a pair of uh, bulletproof helmet art. So now from there, once you guys walk away, all three components will be merged on together. So now from here, make your way over to the uh, clothing store to save your outfit. So once you guys are back at the clothing store, just go to the front counter and save your outfit. If you guys want to keep the outfit like this, you guys are good to go. But if you guys want to go ahead and throw in a duffel bag to this outfit, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to do that. This method only works for PS4, sadly. So if you guys are on PS4 and want to throw in a duffel bag, go ahead and bookmark the job in the description down below. 
so yeah we're gonna be throwing a pink duffel bag so to do that go to options go to online play jobs go to bookmark and go down to last team standing and like i said you guys are gonna have to bookmark this job and simply you know launch it so go ahead and press confirm and just wait for it to launch so once you guys are here you guys want to go ahead and invite a friend and wait for somebody random to join you so now from here i'm gonna wait until somebody joins me so i'll get back at you guys when that happens so as soon as that person has joined you just go ahead and press play and now from here ready up and tell your friend already up so once you guys spawn in all you guys have to do to save this duffel bag open up your interaction menu then go to style and hover over illuminated clothing all right so stay here for like about 15 to 20 seconds so keep on spamming right on the, right on the d-pad so keep on spamming it once you guys have feel like you guys been here long enough all you guys have to do is back out through your phone or simply kill the dude so i'm about to kill him real quick and now from here i'll see you guys when i load back in so once you guys load back in you guys will notice you guys have the duffel bag on so to save this all you guys have to do is make your way over to the mask store which is at the beach so i'll see you guys when i'm there so once you guys are at the beach i recommend getting a rocket bike or a helicopter or any type of flying vehicle and now from here go high in the sky and simply jump off now what you guys have to do is locate the mask store because you guys, you guys are gonna have to crash into it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and line it up as you guys can see the mask store is down there and also be careful for the big palm trees on the right side because if you guys hit those it's gonna mess up the glitch so now from here click l1 and r1 just to stabilize the parachute and like i said we're gonna have to run into the uh, front counter at the mask store all right so i'm about to hit it right now boom i smacked into it and while i'm getting up i'm spamming right on the d-pad and there it should glitch you out like this and now from here all you guys have to do Save, simply save this outfit double save it just to make sure it saves now once you guys saved it back out and you guys should see that the duffel bag is not there but simply open up the interaction menu and equip the outfit and boom the duffel bag should be there so if you guys didn't notice once i saved the duffel bag the helmet did disappear so to fix this just make your way back to the telescope and do the head component glitch again all right so now from there equip the helmet with the mask and the duffel bag should still be there so once again, you guys are going to have to do the mask method, which is fly up in the sky and, and then locate the mask store and run into it and just keep on spamming right on the d-pad once you guys are getting up. So I'm about to do that right now. So once you guys have saved the outfit, you guys are good to go. So now from here, this video has came to an end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this outfit. If you guys did, let me know in the comment section down below. Rate this outfit on a scale of 1 through 10. So yeah, guys, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And also, don't forget to drop that like button. I highly appreciate that. So yeah, guys, with that being said, it's been your boy Cyanide, and I'll see you on the next one.